Hello one. Welcome to the Anthony Air Channel. Today we will explore the 10 best museums in the UK. Planning a day out and want it to be filled with culture? Get inspired with our pick of the best museums in the UK. How do you like to spend your weekends? If the answer is looking at stuff and learning all about it, then you're in the right place. There's no shortage of amazing museums in the UK. And we've done our mightiest to pick out the very best right here. Number is Natural History Museum. It is located in London, England. It is a research institution and museum showcasing the wonders of the natural world. First of all, a visit to the Natural History Museum is a must for getting a picture with Dippy the Diplodocus, London's most popular dinosaur. The Natural History Museum is the place for dino lovers, although there is much more to the museum than ginormous skeletons. The taxidermy is incredible. While the inquisitive approach to the wider universe will make science geeks out of hardened cynics, research continues here, making it a living museum of thought and curiosity. Number is St. Fagan's National Museum of History. IT is located in Cardiff, Wales. IT is an open-air museum positively brimming with Welsh heritage. St. Fagan's Castle is worth a visit for the grace of the castle gardens. But the museum is the real pool. More than 40 buildings showcase the long unstoried history of the Welsh people. With interactive exhibitions and traditional crafts all around. Entry is free, which feels wrong. St. Fagan's Castle is 11 miles to the west of Cardiff and worth every single yard. Yard. Number is Tate Modern. It is located in London, England. It is one of the most iconic art galleries on the planet. The Tate Modern is one of London and the world's most iconic art galleries as well as having an international collection of modern and contemporary artworks that few can beat. It's a historic piece of architecture worth visiting in its own right. But we're sure glad it did. Tate Modern is one of four Tate venues in the UK. And it welcomes a stonking 5 million visitors through its doors each year. The gallery opened in 2000, making use of the old Bankside power station. The imposing structure on the banks of the Thames was designed after World War II by Sir Giles Gilbert Scott, the same architect behind Battersea Power Station. It was converted by Herzog and de Murin. Murin. Number is International Slavery Museum. It is located in Liverpool, England. The history and legacy of the transatlantic slave trade laid bare with no punches pulled. A difficult but necessary museum. Liverpool's International Slavery Museum, part of the Maritime Museum, dives into the vile history and legacy of slavery while focusing on its impact on the city as a whole. As one of the largest ports in Britain, Liverpool was at the front and centre of slavery. With much of the city's development coming from the trade in human beings, it takes a brave city to put the shameful reason for its success at the heart of its modern life. But that is Liverpool. Pool. Number 5 is Black Country Living Museum. It is located in Dudley, England. Only one of the best open-air museums in Britain. History is alive and well at the Black Country Living Museum. Dudley's finest covers 26 acres of tangible history, giving visitors a clear view into ordinary life centuries ago. 300 years of history shimmers here, with lovingly reconstructed houses, pubs and more transporting visitors back in time. This is a must for Peaky Blinders fans. Much of the beloved show was filmed here. here. Number X is the National Railway Museum. It is located in York, England. An absolute dream world for lovers of all things trains. Trains built the modern world. 
and the National Railway Museum tells that story. The collection of railway paraphernalia here is unmatched. With the only bullet train outside of Japan one of the big draws, trains are impressive things. And this brilliant museum, next to York train station, of course, is equally impressive. Number 1. Is. The Museum of Making. It is located in Derby, England. A celebration of innovation and industry in the East Midlands. Those who make the trip to Derby will find themselves falling in love with the magnificent Museum of Making, formerly the Derby Industrial Museum. This brilliant spot is a museum is housed in an old silk mill and dedicated to history and innovation in this part of the world. Highlights include the world's smallest engine using human hair and a seven-tone. Rolls-Royce engine suspended above the heads of visitors in the atrium. Number is Coffin Works Museum. It is located in Birmingham, England. A coffin making factory for the stars. A little morbid, sure. But Birmingham's Coffin Works Museum is one of the most curious cultural spots on an island full of them. Located in the city's famed jewelry quarter. Coffin Works is the final resting chambers for luminaries such as Winston Churchill the Queen Mother and more. Birmingham is a fascinating city. And this museum might just be its most fascinating spot. Bot. Number is Big Pit National Coal Museum. It is located in Blynavon, Wales. A former colliery and coal mine turned labyrinthine museum. The rise and fall of Welsh coal has been well documented. But there is no better place to learn about it all than the Big Pit National Coal Museum. A tour of the former mine is mighty fascinating, both to learn about the logistics of coal extraction and for all the insight into the tough life of a miner. A former worker takes care of the tours, adding an extra element of reality to the experience. Mining is an integral part of Welsh history. And this is the place to learn more. more. Number is We the Curious. It is located in Bristol, England. An exploration of the magic of curiosity. With interactive exhibitions for all the family. Bristol is a city famous for its willingness to push the envelope. And We the Curious. Curious is a spectacular exploration of that. Everything from the outer universe to the intricacies of the brain is explored here. With everything from Wallace and Gromit to the food we eat explored throughout. If ever there was a museum that perfectly sums up the atmosphere of a city, Bristol's We the Curious would be it. Be it. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button for more. I button for more.